Hey everybody, Andre here at Coach's Hangout, a spot where our students can come and leave their requests, and from time to time, our study coaches will drop by and may leave some helpful content. In today's video, I want to look at a question that centers around a short sale transaction. Now, if you haven't already done so, I highly encourage you to head over to our YouTube channel. We have a free video there called What is a Short Sale, where one of my colleagues, Corey, really does a great job of simplifying this content, and he also ties it back to an awesome movie that you may have already seen called The Big Short. So I highly encourage you to check it out. Now, if you've watched that video, you already have three important learning points under your belt. Number one, with a short sale, the investor attempts to make money on the decline of a stock price. So what they do is they borrow shares from a dealer, they immediately sell them. Now they know at some point they got to return those shares, but they hope that down the road they can buy them back at a lower price. And the difference is pure profit. Now, point number two, if the price declines and they buy the shares back at a lower price, they make a profit. But point number three, if the share price increases, they're going to lose money and there's no ceiling as to how high in theory the price could go, right? There's no ceiling. So the investor potentially could incur an unlimited loss. And now point number four, which isn't in that video, but we're gonna to touch on in this question, is while uh, the stock is shorted, the investor is responsible for any dividends or rights that are paid out during that time frame. All right, let's take a look at this question together. Now it says that Joey shorted a trading unit of ABC shares at $18. Now you need to know a trading unit is 100 shares. So let's jot that down in the column. Joey shorted 100 ABC shares at $18. Now further along in the scenario, you find out he closed the position uh, when ABC was trading at only $11. So he's made some money, right? When he borrowed the shares, and sold them for $18, you know, look at it from this standpoint, $18 went into his pocket. Well, when he bought the shares back for $11, only $11 came out of his pocket. So there's still $7 remaining in his pocket. So it looks like he's made $7 per share. Now, there is more to consider it all because it says here, while the stock was shorted, ABC declared and paid a 50 cent per share dividend. And you're being asked, how much money did Joey make or lose? Now, I've added a sentence to this, to this uh, scenario that you're not gonna see on exam preparation tools. I've added it for the purpose of this video and that's why it's in red. You know, it says that instead of borrowing the shares from an investment dealer, he borrowed them from his friend Chandler and he sold them to Ross. Well, you might guess based on those names, I've been watching a lot of Netflix, as I'm sure many of you have as well. Um, but I've done this to make it a little more personal and therefore a little easier to understand. You know, so when ABC paid this 50 cent dividend, who would it have went to? Well, the shares were sold to Ross, right? So Ross is going to receive that 50 cent dividend and you know, Chandler ain't going to be too happy about that, right? Um, and it's not like Ross is going to say, okay, Chandler, I'll give you the dividend. And it's not like ABC Company is going to say, okay, we'll pay two dividends. So as it stands right now, Chandler is out that 50 cent dividend. And what is he going to say to Joey? He's going to say, Joey, I shouldn't be out that 50 cent dividend because you board my shares and try to make a, a profit based on your price prediction. So Chandler, rightfully so, is going to say to Joey, you owe me 50 cents per share. Make sense? So uh, instead of Joey making $7 per share, he's going to have to pay 50 cents per share to Chandler. And that means he's only made $6.50 per share. So we take 100 shares that he shorted. We multiply it by his profit of $6.50 per share. And we find out um, he's made $650. So let's select that answer. And we're right. 
So a couple learning points here. The first thing I would have done is just, just looked at the share price movement. We probably already know, you know, the price went down. We probably already know that Joey's made some money. Um, so right off the bat, we could have probably eliminated C and D and be down to a 50-50 shot at earning ourselves a mark. But of course, we factor in the 50 cent dividend and then we know for sure Joey's made $650. Now, this is a concept that takes a little bit of practice, but you're going to get lots of that when you work with our exam preparation tools. And I'm sure you're going to have this concept well under your belt for exam day. Thanks, everybody. Keep up the great work and good luck on your upcoming exams.